Yo, 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 yo. Assault that the rare double stream. We're at it again. Yes. I'm building a PC on, on stream, on Twitch. Cause I, cause I said I would. I said I would try. And at first I, I almost didn't. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make it happen. So here we are. I'm building a giveaway PC for one of you. I'm not gonna give it away today, but I'm gonna make the giveaway page release it into the ether once the video goes live. Cause I'm gonna repost this. Um, I might cut it down a little bit. I'll repost it on YouTube when it's ready. And then the giveaway will kick off then. Let's just dive right in then, shall we? Before we continue, this video is brought to you by cdkeyoffers.com, a one-stop shop for reliable gaming software keys. Right now they're offering 20% off Windows 10 Pro OEM keys when you enter promo code BW20 at checkout. Getting your key is easy. Once you've added it to your cart, Enter promo code BW20, fill out your payment info, and complete the purchase before heading to your purchased orders page to view and copy your new key. Simply paste it into the Windows activation page and voila, your operating system is fully authenticated. To grab your discounted Windows 10 Pro key now, click on the link in the description below. All right, so I guess we can start off with uh, just just really quick shout out of the parts. AMD Ryzen 7 5800X, eight cores, 16 threads. We obviously have the motherboard NZXT N7 B550 in white. This is gonna be a black and white themed PC. Cooling the CPU is the Fantex Glacier 1, 360 millimeter AIO. I like it in white. I've never seen it in white before. I bought all these parts, by the way, except for the GPU, which we'll get to in a sec. Right, we have 32 gig of Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB DDR4 3200 speed. They didn't have a 3600 speed kit that would arrive on time, arrive in time for this video. I wanted to get 3600, but we can easily overclock this. We have a one terabyte Crucial P5 Plus. This is an M.2 NVMe drive, PCIe Gen 4. The fans that come with uh, this cooler are really good. Um, the Fantex fans are great. They even have the Halos RGB fan frames on them, but we're actually gonna be replacing those and kitting the entire case out with uh, some, some uni fans from Lee and Lee. These are the AL120s. My first time using these fans. I've, I've used the uh, other uni fans extensively, but never the ALs. So I got six of these that we'll be putting in the case. Uh, power supply, I don't need to show that it's boring. Which brings me to the case. The case is none other than the new Height Y60. This big boy. The fish tank. Paul also built his giveaway PC in the same case. I think his was all black though. Black and white's better. Gotcha, Paul. So yeah, I've never built in this case before. Pretty excited about that too. Heard really good things. Didn't get a chance to review it or anything when it first came out, even though I was sent one. So I get to check it out now, but we're not quite ready for the case just yet. Oh, and uh, the graphics card. Duh. I wanted to say best for last. Uh, the ASRock OC Formula Radeon RX 6950 XT. I think you, you, you finally get sort of a, a good scale of, of how beefy this card really is when I'm holding it. When you get when you see close-ups of the card um, and it's just the card by itself, you don't really grasp the full gravity of its size. It's a brick and a beautiful card. Azrock did a really nice job on this thing. The finish on everything is so primo. It's got uh, LED on and off switch as well as a bio switch for performance or quiet mode. Really nice attention to detail. Some pretty beefy fans. We'll get to this later, but for now, let us start. Okay. Um, actually, before we install the CPU, I'm going to remove the AM4 bracket, the mounting bracket, because we don't need this for our cooler. We will need the, the back plate though, so I'm gonna keep that. Don't mind the plushie in the background, that's, that's nothing. Whatever it looks like, you're wrong. Ryzen 7 5800X, coming in hot. CPU installed. Let's just do the uh, SSD while we're here. Well, do they really have to put the stickers? Don't really need the stickers. Th these plates probably come off. They probably fall off in shipping if they don't put the stickers on. That's probably why they do it. There's no screw holding it in place. All right, SSD, put one in. And also, sorry in advance, I probably won't be paying too much attention to chat. My focus is over here. But feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Also gives you free reign to talk shit on me. I'll have no idea. Okay, SSD installed. Let's uh, let's go for our cooler. The cooler. Let me prep the cooler first. I'm gonna put the motherboard aside. This is last. Doing the cooler before the memory because the memory has taller heat spreaders and it'll just kind of get in the way when we're installing the water block. Oh, well, you know what? You guys probably want the uh, little guy over here, B cam. Look at that. Isn't that fun? So I'm going to, we're still, still shipping these with the Intel bracket pre-installed. It's racist. Don't need any of this. I try to keep my workspace tidy as I go, you know? I know some some builders, they just let the whole thing explode. They don't clean up till the very end. I I don't know, I get OCD about it. I gotta, I gotta clean up periodically. Well, here's a question. Which way do we want the tubes to face in the case? Let's see. What's, so I'm gonna mount the, the radiator to the top of the case. Do you think hoses on the right side or hoses on the left side? I think hoses on the left side versus the right. It's just a little awkward like that. Okay, so if we're gonna do it that way. Putting on our AMD retention bracket, our AM4 retention bracket, rather. We can already screw this down. Oh no, wait, we gotta put on the uh, these these little dudes. 
bring back the Mobo. Got to put on our little standoffs for AM4. Very, I was very happy to learn that the new AM5 socket from AMD, when it comes out later this year, will be compatible, backwards compatible with AM4 coolers. Because I got a lot of AM4 compatible coolers that I was slightly worried for a second that I would, ne would never be able to use moving forward with AM5, but I'm really glad they added support for that. It's thoughtful. All right, we already have pre-applied thermal paste. So, this is also way more fun, doing a build on on Twitch with you guys, rather than just shooting a, a YouTube video by myself. It's much less lonely. <laughs> I'm just lonely, guys. <sighs> I just love you so much. Hold her down. Sorry, my dumb chin's in the, in the frame, in the shot. Can't do anything about that. Now you can, you can use a screwdriver on these guys because they have a Phillips head, but I just finger tight. I just go finger tight and that's plenty. First time builders be like, Arr! we've all been there. That was me at one point. Alrighty then. Um, let's plug this guy in. This is the pump. So I'm just gonna plug it into our CPU fan header. That way we don't get a BIOS error on boot. That will happen sometimes. It's very annoying. If you don't have that CPU fan header populated, you can disable it in the BIOS, it's fine. You can get around it that way, but I'd rather not have to deal with it if I don't have to. Um, let's, uh, I guess you can mount this puppy. This is the cover plate. This is just the vanity plate for the water block. So it looks pretty. And it does have RGB, of course. So got another stupid cable to deal with. This cable's in the way, bro. Okie dokie. Wait, so this is like, oh, I see. So we do need that. That's what that RGB cable was for. I thought it was for the Halos fan. It's actually for the pump block cover. This is a really long and obnoxious cable. I'll deal with it later. Ram, 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 ram. Again, we have 32 gigs. Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB, whatever, DDR4, 3200. I think that setup is gonna look really good in, uh, in the case. Nothing quite like having all four dim slots populated. That's what she said. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. All these parts just magically go together. Are we already ready for case install? No, no we're not. I wanna install the fans on our radiator here. The reason I, another reason I picked these fans, apart from that they look really good, is that the cable management is so simplified because they just interlock, they have gold contacts. They got gold contacts that allow them to sync with each other and daisy chain, essentially, is the term I'm looking for. And they interlock, just like that, interlock. Just like that. And then you only need this one cable. I guess it's two cables, so easy. And this just goes on one of the fans. And we'll have this go right here. We're gonna mount this in a push configuration and have the hot air be ejected out the top of the case. We'll have three more fans in the build. Actually, we could put, we could actually put more than just three more fans because this case actually has room for two more fans at the bottom, I believe, and they're not visible. There's a sort of a, a mesh grill, not mesh, a ventilated grill that goes above those fans and it pretty much obfuscates them, so they're not visible. But the ventilation allows for airflow, obviously, so that would be good for our GPU. So maybe, maybe I will install two more regular non-RGB fans at the bottom of the case later. It's been a really long time, actually, since I, uh, since I did a live stream build. I think, I think last time I did this was sometime last year, maybe? And I had so much fun doing it, I was like, I'm gonna do this all the time! And then I didn't do it for a year. Sorry, I'm sorry, guys. You guys are used to me disappointing you, though. It's nothing new. This is already looking so pretty. I love it. Now we're ready for the case. Can I just say, I really love what I did with this studio. The fact that I made a desk, a mega desk essentially, that wraps around the entire room. The smartest idea I've ever had. It's not saying much, because I usually don't have very smart ideas, but it's so convenient. It's amazing. So much room for activities. All right. That makes the case look a lot bigger than it is. It is a chonky case, I will say. It's fat, it's wide. It's a wide ass case. Which is surprising because there's only vertical mounting slots for GPU. Maybe it's about as wide as an O11D. It just looks fatter than it is than, than an O11D because it's not quite as long. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe they're roughly the same, same size. You know, I'm just gonna read the manual. Screw it. I don't wanna make myself look like more of an idiot than I already am. Oh, so this just pops off. Well, that's nice. And then the glass at the front looks like it can just be removed. There's like no words, it's all just pictures. It's supposed to pop out? It's not feeling like it's popping out. Oh, I gotta remove some screws. All right, the backside panel has been removed. Similar design as the O11D, really. Got dual chambers, or a motherboard and graphics card, and then on this side you've got your power supply and storage, where that accessory box is. Very similar. But I think we all kind of expected a lot of brands to emulate 
and mimic the O11D due to its massive success, proving itself to be a tried and true design. So there are, there are these three Phillips head screws that seem to be holding the front glass panel in place. I should be able to just pop it out now. There we go. Aha, front panel. Is there no plastic on this side? There's no plastic wrap on the inside of the panel? Why though? I mean, you touch the inside of the panel as much as you touch the outside. Great, now I'm gonna have to clean this. All right, next up. I can't even tell what part of the case that is that they're referring to. It's a confusing ass angle that they use. So we're gonna remove this. Looks to be a ventilated, uh, it's a dust filter. Oh cool, the fans are already included. Yes, two fans included at the bottom. Nice, one less thing I have to do. I love it. So that's gone. And then there's another screw on this side. These thumb screws are really loose. It feels like they were already pretty loosened. I guess that's not a bad thing, as long as they don't come undone in shipping. Other panel. Ugh. Hmm. I fucked up. I'm gonna have to redo the uh, the fans on the um, on the radiator because this this removable mounting plate is supposed to go in between the radiator and the fans. I did not think that far ahead. It's okay. There's only 12 screws that I have to undo and then redo. Already making mistakes. We're only like 15 minutes into this build. Maybe if you guys are lucky, you'll get to see me kill a power supply. All right. Mounting plate comes undone just like that. I guess we'll uh, put this aside. This is why I need an electric screwdriver. I actually have an electric screwdriver, but it has like a proprietary battery charger and I lost the charger. I almost got a little nervous to do this stream. After the whole Artesian build, thing that ran through my mind and I was like oh god maybe there's maybe it's like a curse it's a curse of the the live streamed PC build anyone who streams a PC build is just destined to get canceled and I'm next I'll do something just totally asinine and ruin my entire career kill a family of power supplies totally confident in my abilities to not be a royal douchebag sweet okay okay we can bring back the case um, you know what though? Probably get rid of all this. What is this? This is the riser cable. I believe there's a, a Gen 4 riser cable that comes included. Yep, right there. And I'm gonna remove that, obviously, if we want the motherboard to get in there. Boom! It's a nice ass riser cable. Look at that. Plated, covered in white. I believe it matches the color of uh, whatever case you get. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, let's see here. Actually, I should probably put the case down. Down. I love how pan panoramic the view is, you know, like the O11D. Actually, even more so because it doesn't have, O11D has a, a bezel, a solid bezel right there on the corner. Even though it's thin, it still obstructs your vision a little bit. Whereas this is completely open. I'm gonna first push this guy through here. Probably a million ways I could have done that better. All good. Obviously the case comes with its own screws, everything you'd need, but uh, the box is still, Accessory box is still at the back of the case. Too lazy to get it out of there, and I've got my own screws. One bummer about this motherboard is that the armor is uh, kind of obstructs the screw holes. And I guess we could just plug this in, can't we? Oh wait, it's the wrong, uh, the wrong expansion slot. This the one we want. We got to transfer this guy to the open slot now. All right, that's rock solid. Rock solid, bro. Now we can continue with mounting our radiator. We have this nice. It's hard to see, but right above the motherboard is a giant cutout. It's a huge cutout. It just spans the entire width of the motherboard pretty much, as opposed to having like a couple a couple smaller grommets, like a lot of cases. It's just one giant cutout. It's not grommeted, but it'll be covered up by uh, by the radiator assembly, radiator and fan assembly anyway, I think. Which means I should probably route our eight pin EPS cable first. Oh, eight pin, where are you? Come out wherever you are. As you can see, I've used this power supply before, so all the cables are entangled in shambles. Yay! Found it. You're the one. I'm not even gonna bother plugging. There's another four pin that we could use for additional CPU power, but there's no need. Honestly, unless you're doing serious overclocking, most CPUs only need the eight pin. Plenty of power delivery. All right. Obviously, whoever wins this, I'll be sending them all the accessories as well, all the extra power supply cables. If they ever did want to add anything down the line, they would be able to do so. Are you kidding me? The holes aren't lining up. The hoses are not giving me enough clearance. The hoses have to be mounted on the other side. How many times am I gonna do this? This is madness. This is insane. This is insane. <sighs> Never built in this case before, so, you know, shame on me. I should have should have read the manual. Okay, can, can I please just install the radiator? Push it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? It's still not lining up. I'm running into the exact same clearance issues I was when the hoses were on the other side. Which now that I see it, uh, I guess this 
The slide without the hoses is slightly shorter, but it's still not lining up properly. What is the meaning of this? Manual time. It does that with the 360 millimeter? It's supposed to be like that? This is a design flaw. I have to push so hard that the back of the case starts to flex. I think if I loosen these, maybe I can slide the radiator and fans ever so slightly towards the front of the case, giving us just enough clearance, but we'll have to see. Depends if, I can't remember if any of these screw holes are flexible. Ah. They are, thank God. I think that was all we needed to do. But I am pretty sure that uh, the hoses do need to be on this side of the radiator. I don't think it would have fit the other way because the um, the outer edge of the radiator, like I said, it's a bit longer on the radi the, the tube side. Is that mentioned at all in the manual? No, they don't, they don't say anything about that. I'm looking at it right now. They could have done better with that. And obviously it's not just a me problem if you guys are saying, if you guys are aware of the issue and encountered the same problem. There we go. Finally. Radiators installed, thank God. Look at that though. Damn. She kind of fine, not gonna lie. All right, let's do this. Um, you know what we should do next? Front panel connectors. On the front panel connector lineup, we have USB 3. Yeehaw. Also starring front little front panel connectors. Hold on, can I pass this through here? <gasps> Can. And thank you very much, Height, for making this a combo header. So I only need to plug in one thing instead of six or however many. I'm just being extra. Fans, we got fans. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm gonna use the fan splitter that came included with the, uh... there's no fan controller in this case, is there? Would have been pretty dope. Would have been dope if there was a fan controller. Just saying, just saying. It's okay. We'll put these two guys. Okay, let me think. What makes the most logical sense? Which fan header? There's one, two fan headers at the top right. There's one, two, three more at the bottom. Can do it at the bottom then, yo. Why complicate things? <clears throat> Sorry, chat. I gotta turn this towards me for a sec. I can't see shit. There ain't a whole lot of clearance down here, height. Bruh, just saying. Eh. What's going on, bro? Front panel connectors are freaking hurt you. Stop. Come on, bro. Are you in there? I guess we'll find out when the computer turns on. I'm just trying to make it as clean as possible for you guys. Okay. What else? What else do we need? We got HD audio and USB-C. I'm guessing HD audio is in this corner, like it is for almost every board. Okay, what next? Did I miss anything? I think I got all the front panel connectors, yo. Everything good there, 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 there. Yeah, yeah. Shove the cables where the sun don't shine. Um, I'm not gonna plug in the AL fans just yet, the AL120s, but I'm gonna mount this guy right now. Let's mount this fan. And uh, unfortunately they don't make these uni fans in 140s to my knowledge. Only 120s available. It does look like you could, could you fit a? No, it's, it's only a 120 at the back anyway. But I believe the side, the side you can definitely fit right here. You can fit 140s if you wanted to, which I would have preferred, but Lee and Lee, make some 140s. We need those big boy unis. There's a little trick that I'm just doing right here. I'm just gonna like put a zip tie around the two cables that are coming from that rear fan, just so I know that they are from the rear fan. I'm just telling myself now, the one with the zip, the cables with the zip ties are the rear fan. That way I don't get, get them confused with the radiator fans later on. I'm plugging sh Damn. stuff when I'm plugging stuff in. Damn it. Frack. This is very close. Very close clearance with the, the IO shields, the IO cover, IO plate from motherboard. Very, very close. Wait, I mounted that wrong. My bad. That makes a lot more sense. Now the clearance is not an issue because I don't have the RGB cable in the way. All right, that looks good. Why don't we put uh, the other fans on while we're at it? Why don't we interlock? <laughs> That was sexy. Ooh, nice. There's a little cutout. A little cable cutout at the bottom here for this exact purpose. Good design, good design. Good job there. Are these gonna line up? You know, they don't look too bad. I thought they would look too undersized, you know? Like dwarfed by the large cavernous interior, but they actually look pretty good. Still would have preferred 140s. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. You know what we could do also is finish wiring up these fans. 
with the controller. There is a pretty sophisticated controller here. All right, so here we have the fan and RGB controller. We've got, yeah, one, two, I see. One, two, three, four. And we only need three, really, because we have, we've daisy chained several of the fans. The question is, where do I put this thing? The power supply goes right here. You can see the, the flat, this flat ledge. This is where the power supply rests on, and it's gonna go sideways. So the, the power supply fan will be right here where my hand is. Power supply goes down like this. So I can't put it anywhere there. Can't put it here because it's not really any flat, good flat surface. This is too cramped down here. I could just stick it to this drive cage. I could just stick it right there. And if, if, if whoever wins this wants to populate this tray, you can just easily remove it. Question is, will there be enough clearance for the cables to stick out of the sides? Oh yeah, plenty of clearance. All right, I'm convinced that's where it's gonna go. So the way we're configuring this in the controller is the two side fans are channel one, the rear fan is channel two, and the three radiator fans on top are channel three. All right, I'm going to remove the zip ties on these guys so we can better cable manage them later. We are ready for power supply install. Give me a sec, I'm trying to untangle all this crap. All right, all right. Yeah, I know, these cables are freaking long as hell. It's for the Helios case. I'm pretty sure that's why they made it so damn long. At least the cables are all white. I'm debating on whether or not I should put the, the streamer cables in right now. The Lee and Lee streamer RGB cables, just because I only have the, the GPU cables. I'm still waiting, the, the 24 pin ATX streamer did not come. It's not arrived yet. Might just do that all at once. I'm not sure, I haven't decided. Cross that bridge when we get to it. <sighs> which I think we're at that bridge. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. The GPU streamer cables are not gonna work in that case. Why not? Why wouldn't they? I've seen them uh, mounted in, in this case before. So it has its own controller and it looks like I can probably daisy chain. All right, I'm gonna do this after I do a little bit of cable management first. All right, let the cable managing begin. Yay. First plug this guy in. Where does the excess cable go? Looks like a lot of it can get stashed down here. I wanna make sure to keep the 24 pin accessible when we're ready for that. And I guess I can just go ahead and wire up our, our, our streamer cable. Where's my two pin at? Oh, it's confusing. Uh, it's hard to know which, which two pin is for which of these plugs. I think it's like this. There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the way. One little piggy, two little piggy, three little piggy. Blech. I'll just leave the 24 pin. Oh, the 24, man, I'm so bummed that I don't have the 24 pin. You know what, though? I do have a 24 pin streamer cable in the RGB PC. This thing, you see, you see it right there, glowing. I could pull it from there and just replace it when the other one comes in. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm doing it. I should just do that now. <laughs> she getting heavy. She getting heavy, baby, baby. All right, putting this aside. Don't shatter the glass, please. Thank you. Why isn't it freaking working? Uh, here we go. I got it. I got it. Wee! 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 Ah. Oh, thank God the clip's on the right side. Thank God. They would have sucked. Big donkey balls, big old donkey balls. This build is gonna be the tits. Next, do we have, where's the RGB header? Oh God, where is it? Where is it? There is no, or they, have, they have two NZXT proprietary RGB headers at the top. That's stupid. It's so nice. It's so nice being able to reach through the front of the case, I gotta say. Particularly when you have to angle the PC towards towards your live viewers. If, if you guys weren't here, this would be a lot easier. I'm doing this for you. That's why it's at a funky angle for your viewing delight. Okay, is this the wrong way? It's just so freaking dark, I can't see crap. I feel like a dad. Did anyone's dad ever like pull out their phone flashlight when they look at the menu at a restaurant? Even when like the place isn't like really that dim. My dad does it all the time, super embarrassing. I don't think we need this. We can't plug this in anyway. Let me check one more time to make sure. There's an RGB header down here. There is. It's in the freaking way of the freaking. Mm, the header. It's right behind the freaking PCI Express cable. I don't want to route it this way anyway. How am I doing? It has to go up from the bottom. Son of a. I can only think about one thing at a time. So I'm more of a single threaded processor. Horrible at multitasking. It's like I'm trying to thread a needle blind. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, can we change the freaking 
connector type for addressable RGB connectors. The stupid, flimsy, dinky three pin design's gotta go. It's so hard to know sometimes when you have tight angles like this, if you're actually plugging it in. They probably designed it and knew it was crap and they were like, ah, RGB is not gonna be a big thing anyway, who cares? All right, we're good. We're looking good, fam, we're looking good. That was the only addressable RGB header on the board that I could find. So we're gonna ignore the, uh, the one for our AIO for now. It'll still light up, it's still getting power. And we still might be able to control it anyway, actually, through the, the USB 2 header. Graphics card, we're ready for the graphics card. So exciting. Uh, all right, big boy, it's your time to shine. I can kind of see right and high. Whoa, it's in. That is in, that is so in. Woo! We're almost there, kiddos! Ugh. Ugh. All right, how, how's this gonna look? We need more length. Okay. I'm gonna have to do it flat. I'm doing it flat. It's so dark, I can't see shit. I mean, anything, nah. Think I got it, chat. Wow, that card had so much weight to this thing. Obviously, but holy crap, hola. Holy moly. Could make him go more like to the back, but then you don't really see him as much, which defeats the point. Maybe off to the side. That way you can really see it pretty well from the front. The angle that I'm looking at it from right now is that's where it's gonna shine. Again, it's nice to have that open front panel, windowed front panel. I think we're done. Other than just padding down these cables. I don't like how the hoses are covering up the streamer cables. Maybe I can push them up or does it look better down? Covering the, nah, I don't like that. All right, yo, I think we're ready for power. I'm trying to think if I missed anything ahead of time so I don't look like an idiot when I turn it on and none of the fans are spinning or nothing lights up. All right, we'll just see. Power cable. <laughs> I could really use a extension cable. Really use an extension cable right now. Y'all ready? What's with all the pickles? What's going on with the pickles? I don't understand the pickles. What are the, what's the significance of the pickles? They're confusing me. I don't like it. Oh, raid. Ari people, holy crap. Ari, thanks for the raid, my man. Thank you kindly. Dude, you got, you got, you raided me just in time. Your viewers are in for a treat because for the last roughly two hours, I've been building this PC. I just built it start to finish and I just finished it. I'm actually ready to press the power button. You caught it just in time. Was that planned? Ari, you've been spying on me. Have you seen me naked? Ow. All right, no more dilly-dallying. If this blows up, I did not build this PC. Also, if it doesn't turn on. That's okay, it was just the power supply. Never fails, never fails. All right, here we go. Okay, that looks pretty fire. Yay, GPU is spinning up. Look at that. Holy crap. This thing looks nuts. Yo, I like it. I like it. Pretty. All right, you want me to build you a PC like this? Aren't these fans just, these fans, they're so nice. Everything's so nice. This PC is a beaut. Chef's kiss. Here's, I'm gonna rotate the system a little bit so you can get all angles. Now, let me get rid of this nasty plastic. Oh, the final peel. Yes. Kind of looks like a fish tank. Kind of looks like an aquarium, but in a litty way. Oh man, I just, I love how that, that GPU streamer turned out. This GPU streamer cable, I love that it just is so, so visible from the front. God, that looks good. And this is just default RGB, people. I haven't even configured any of the lighting in the software yet. And honestly, I could just leave it like this. This looks freaking fantastic. I don't even know if I could configure a better looking effect than this. It's perfect. I am bummed out that the uh, the water block isn't lighting up though. I kind of want to, I want the I want the water block to light up. It's not finished until the water block lights up. For those of you unaware, the water block is, is the CPU, the CPU cooler right there. That part of the CPU cooler. It's supposed to light up. We're gonna make it light up. I have my word. Cause I don't think, I don't think anything bad will happen. If I unplug this RGB cable here, maybe, maybe something bad will happen, I don't know. Now the lights went out. Which means we have a free port to plug in our water block. It's over here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is good, chat. This is good. Everything is working out to our favor. If I could plug this in without having to remove the GPU, I would be a god. Eh. 
No, I think I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not an overachiever. I'm not trying to be no god. I'm but a mortal man. I can at least get it through the freaking grommet. Now this will be a million times easier if I just turn the system off and remove the GPU. Blast off. Oh, that is so much nicer. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Woo. Everything's going now. We did it. We did it, chat. Yay. I'm done. I'm finished. That's, that's it. That's all she wrote. If you're watching this on YouTube, check the description. In the description, you'll find the giveaway link to enter to win this PC. And shout out to AMD, by the way, for uh, providing the graphics card. Radeon RX 6950 XT, everybody. She's a beauty. This will literally run anything you throw at it. I know that people say that a lot. I say that a lot, but it's actually true. It's a beast. All right. See you later.